Okay, today I'll be playing adventure number six, Destroy the Dracolich, from the Castle of Ravenloft board game. I've already gone through the adventure setup, I've already shuffled everything, and I drew treasure items for Arjun and Alyssa, so that's already done. So we're ready to dive right into the adventure. I don't have a whole lot of confidence that this is going to end in victory. Um, I think most of these adventures are completely imbalanced to the point of being totally broken, but we'll play through it as far as we can. <clears throat> An undead dragon called a Dracolich has answered Strahd's call. Now it rampages through the countryside every night, destroying everything in its path. You decide to enter the dungeon crypts to find the lair of the Dracolich, and then, if luck is with you, you plan to destroy it before it can attack Barovia again. The cleric of Barovia provided this advice. Find the creature's phylactery. It holds the Dracolich's evil essence. Destroy the phylactery and your task will be made much easier to accomplish. All right, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go ahead and have Arjun move first. As always, there's really nothing you can do on the first turn except move out and explore, so that's what we're going to do. So Arjun advances to the unexplored edge. We're going to draw a tile. It's a white tile, so we will not get an encounter. And we'll draw a monster for Arjun. And we're starting off with the skeleton, could be worse. Take the skeleton and place it on the bone pile, the newly drawn tile. And since this is a white tile, we won't have an encounter, but let's go ahead and get our sheet updated. This just makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of everything and make sure I don't make any mistakes. So white tile, or white tile, I said white and wrote down black. Uh, we placed a skeleton. There's no blessings or conditions. There's no encounter. So the skeleton will attack. <clears throat> if the skeleton's adjacent, it's not. If the skeleton's within a tile, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with the charging slice. So we're going to have the uh, skeleton move over here to this bone pile and attack with the charging slice. It gets a plus nine on that attack, so it has to roll really low to miss. And that's really low, so starting off, at least the dice rolls are favorable for us so far. And that's going to be a miss, and a miss is a miss. So uh, no damage done there. That's going to be the end of Arjun's uh, villain phase, so that'll be the end of his turn number one. We'll go right into Alyssa. And, uh, well, pretty easy to know what I want to do with her. We're just going to have her move up here adjacent to the skeleton. She has that ability to just hit for one, and the skeleton only has an HP of one, so it's just going to go down by using her careful attack. So that means that she will gain treasure, so let's go ahead and draw that treasure card. And she got a lucky charm, which is a reroll. I can give this to, you can give items to any player. I made one mistake in my last game where I gave away, I don't remember if it was a blessing or a fortune, you can't do that. You can only give away items. And I think I will give this item to Arjun because uh, he rolls more dice more than Alyssa does. So let's go ahead and get rid of the skeleton and then we'll have her use her scout to explore. But uh, before we get too far ahead, let's update. So no healing surge was used. She did move. She attacked. She did get that treasure card. And now she will be exploring and the skeleton did go down. So we'll explore over this way. See if I can move things on a little faster than I normally do. So we place down the tile, and we'll draw a monster for Alyssa. And it's going to be a gargoyle. It's one of the baddies. <clears throat> so we'll place the gargoyle on the bone pile. And that's a black tile. We can't do anything about it, so we will have an encounter. And it's going to be a, uh, a trap. So things are not starting off very well. And we place these sliding walls on this tile and now let's go ahead and update Alyssa's so it was a black tile she got a gargoyle uh, we did have that encounter so she's got a gargoyle and a sliding walls that will activate so the gargoyle will activate and it's gonna move over to the other uh, tile and attack everybody on the tile with the whirlwind of claws I think it is yeah so it's going to move bone pile to bone pile, and it's going to attack Alyssa first with the plus eight. 
and that's a 7 plus 8, which is a 15. And that will miss uh, because Alyssa has a 16 AC because she's on the same tile with Arjun. And Arjun has this defender, and it says you protect your friends while another hero is on the same tile. So because they're on the same tile, she does get that bonus to the AC, which normally her AC is only 15, but at the moment it's going to be 16. But only if they're on the same tile. Luckily for Alyssa, they are on the same tile. So that's a miss, but it will do one damage. <clears throat> and now the uh, gargoyle will attack Arjun as well. And it's going to be an 8 plus, what was it? 8 plus 8 is 16. So again, that just misses Arjun. So we're getting a little bit lucky here. But that's really, this entire game revolves around luck. Um, unfortunately, there's not very much strategy in it. It is a fun game, but I would enjoy it more if there was more strategy. <clears throat> so next, the sliding walls will activate. And basically, we, we roll the dice for each player. And, and depending on what we roll depends on which direction they get pushed. And if they can't get pushed in a certain direction, they take damage. So first, we'll roll for Alyssa. <clears throat> And she got a two. So the sliding walls uh, says roll the dice for each hero on this tile and place that hero on a tile within one tile of this trap in the direction indicated by the marker. So since she got a two, the uh, sliding walls somehow pushes her forward, we'll say, to this tile. Or we'll say to that square on that tile. And then the same thing for Arjun. And it's a five, so I think they got pushed to the same square. Yeah, they did. They got pushed to the same tile, rather. Okay, so that is the end of Alyssa's villain phase and the end of turn number one. And we'll come back with turn number two.